Right now, a shooter on the run in Antelope after killing a driver. That shooting happened near Firestone Way and Fawn Hollow Way last night. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Marley Ginter. And I'm Curtis Ming. CBS 13 Shante Passmore joins us live at Antelope. And uh, cops are not calling this a car to car shooting at this point. Why is that, Shante? You know, Curtis, that was the very first question I asked authorities. Was this a car to car shooting? But investigators believe that the shooter got out of their gar car before pulling up on the victim and his girlfriend. And then later they believe the victim drove into this car right here before hitting that wall. A damaged sedan only tells part of the story. I'm hoping that it was just an isolated incident. At first, Sacramento Sheriff responded to a crash near Firestone Way and Fawn Hollow Way. When deputies arrived, they found a man shot dead, his girlfriend beside him, uninjured. Kind of makes like the area not more safe no more. It's like walking at night, something could happen to you after seeing what happened over there. People living nearby startled to see a crime scene, especially so close to a school and park. It was after nine. Uh, the house kind of lit up with all of the lights on the police cars. But this is. Surprising, we don't normally have this kind of stuff happening. Sacramento Sheriff said the shooter drove a dark sedan, pulling up next to the victim's car while he drove, later crashing into another car and this wall. It's just strange. I've lived out here for so long, we've never experienced anything like this before. Yeah, right now it's not clear whether the victim or suspect knew each other or what exactly led up to the shooting. And right now we're waiting to learn more about the victim.